This is where it all started. You can see the windows on the tobacco outlet store are boarded up tonight. The owner tells us the store's been hit many times before, but never like this. With anger, it's, it's, um, you know, you feel violated. That's how the owner of this tobacco store says he's feeling after thieves used a truck to ram into his El Cerrito business early this morning. Whatever they get their hands on, they were just like on a shopping spree pretty much, you know, look like grabbing what they could in two, three minutes and stuff in their bags. Police spotted the thieves as they tried to make their getaway and began chasing them onto the freeway. Once the officers uh, reached that point where I-80 merges with traffic coming from I-580, uh, they saw the suspect vehicle make an abrupt U-turn movement and they realized the suspect was going to start coming, uh, start driving against traffic. Our officer canceled the pursuit uh, in the interest of public safety. Um, shut down his equipment and exited the freeway. The truck then collided head on with two cars, killing an innocent driver and injuring another motorist. The suspects were taken to the hospital with serious injuries. If someone loses a life, you can't change that. You can't take that back. You know, you just, that's a, you know, cigarettes, money, damage, it can be fixed. That, that can't be fixed. The store owner says he's heartbroken that an innocent person lost their life all over some cigarettes. Other El Cerrito business owners are also rattled and angry. My opinion, what needs to be done is you, you do the crime, you do the time, and stop being so damn lenient with uh, these ridiculous laws that the public passed. The owner says this is the sixth time he's been hit since he opened 10 years ago. It seems to get worse every time, and, and you know, this can be the final nail in the coffin, you know, depending on the cost, so this might, might not be able to come back from this. Though the store is damaged and boarded up tonight, it's still open for business. The owner is hoping he'll be able to rebound. In El Cerrito, I'm Jody Hernandez, NBC Bay Area News.